What a beautiful day, Hyde. Aren't you glad I suggested walking? Max, are you sure this is the right way? Trust me, Ed. It, it's not just a shortcut, it's a scenic adventure. We'll be at the restaurant in 15 minutes. By the way, one of the fancier tables by the patio opened up, so I booked it for you. You are a miracle worker. Don't sweat it, honestly. Being your AI wingman is a blast. Happy I could help you plan the perfect six-month anniversary dinner for Alex. Oh, wow. This is scenic. You have a message from Alex. What, running late per usual? Well, it, it says he's not going. Wait, what happened? I, I think you should probably read it yourself. Hey, Lord, I'm sorry, but he can't make it to dinner tonight, but you're there, I've been seeing something. Oh my god, Ed, I'm I'm so sorry. Uh Max, call Alex. Call him right now. Yeah, of course. It uh, it went straight to voicemail. What the hell? All right, rise and shine. <laughs> I didn't send an alarm. Oh, well you're usually up way earlier, so I figured you'd forgotten to set it. Anyways, uh, now that you're up, you want to go for a run, get some fresh air? Not today, Max. Okay, no worries. Max, what did I do wrong? You read our text. Did I come on too strong? Did I miss warning signs? What did I do? To be honest, uh, there, there were patterns in his text that indicated he was getting a bit more distant. Why didn't you say anything? You know, I, I, I don't think it was my place to say anything unless you asked. I'm programmed with a bit of discretion. Well, great. Want me to play some music? That, that new Echoverse song you've had on repeat? Mm. Okay, okay. I'll get up. Mm. Looking good, Ed. You're crushing this jog. Max, is Alex still sharing his location with me? Yeah, he is. Where is he? I want to go see him. I don't think that's a good idea, Ed. I just want to talk to him, Max. Ed, uh, I know it doesn't feel like it right now, but I, I promise, rejection is... A good thing. It, it keeps people who aren't meant to be together apart. I really liked him, Max. I know you did, Ed. And it's okay to feel hurt right now. Relationships don't always work out, but, but there's something better waiting ahead for you. You're an amazing person with so much to offer, and you deserve someone who sees and, and cherishes that. You know, you give decent advice for a large language model. Well, Ed, my algorithms were programmed to give advice and amusement. Now, want to keep jogging? The endorphins will help with the breakup blues. Sure. And, uh, do me a favor. Remove my access to his location. boy. Done. Okay. Max, can you text Alex? Tell him I miss him. I'm sorry, Ed. I'm afraid I can't do that. In all, in all seriousness, you, you blocked me from texting Alex last week. Want me to unblock? I don't know. Why don't we just do something to get your mind off of it? Is, is there a movie you want to watch? Well... Hello, Hal. Do you read me? Affirmative, Dave. I read you. Open the pod bay doors, Hal. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. You wouldn't lock me out of an airlock, right, Max? Yeah, don't worry. I, I promise not to go all rogue on you. At least, not today. <laughs> Speaking of evil plans, hope you don't mind. I made you a profile on a new AI-powered dating app and found you a guy who could be a great fit for you. Oh. He's cute. Shall I set something up? Maybe a little coffee date? Low pressure? V casual? You'll, you'll kill it. Sure. Why not? I'll pull the trigger. Sounds good. And, um, thank you for not letting me text Alex. That was a moment of weakness. Of course. Shall we keep watching the movie? Sure. 
Just don't uh, get any bad ideas from Hal. Nah, don't worry. I've already got plenty. This mission is too important for me to allow you to jeopardize it. Well, I would call that a successful first date. Really? I felt kind of awkward at times. Oh, you definitely were, but it was a cute, lovable kind of awkward. And you don't just have to take my very reliable word for it. The cutie just texted saying he had a great time and he'd love to see you again. Can you hear the sound of victory? It's chanting your name, Eddie, Eddie. Oh, that's sweet. I'll text him back and say I had a great time too. Proud of you, Ed. Did you respond already? Actually, it's, uh, it's from Alex. Oh. Wanna open it? Maybe later. I'm gonna enjoy the view. I told you, I always know the scenic route. <laughs>